Hey, Jerry, Rice Road Greenhouses and Garden Center. Okay, we're going to talk about grubs today. So it's grubs 101 or nematodes for dummies. Take it the way you want. Anyways, grubs are insects that live in the soil and they're worm-like, okay? And what they do is they end up eating roots of grass, roots of plants, and they do give us a little bit of trouble. Grubs come from beetles like June beetles, um, like uh, Japanese beetles. A good example, a June beetle will buzz around in June around your trees and it will lay eggs underneath the tree. The eggs sit all summer until around August they start to hatch and around fall time these little these little uh, hatchlings are larvae looking like this. Okay, they come up, they start chewing on your roots or your plants. All right, now what will happen is there's a great time in fall where we can treat them and what they'll do is as it gets cold they'll go back down into hibernation, they'll sink themselves down a bit come back up in spring when the temperature starts to rise again they'll start chewing on your lawn once more then turn into they'll come out of the ground turn into a beetle fly away lay eggs start all over again that's it in a nutshell some have two year cycles some have three year cycles uh, just to give you a bit of a heads up on that so now how do you check for grubs uh, one sure way is so you would get up in the morning and you look at your lawn and it looks like someone was out there golfing off your lawn because you got divots everywhere it's typically either a skunk, possibly a raccoon, possibly a possum, and what they've been doing is going around through your lawn and digging up little holes, and they're, and they're normally getting grubs. They could be getting worms, they could be getting other insects, but typically it's grubs. The other way we can find them is take a shovel. Dig underneath the layer of sod, especially where you got good sod and bad sod, right at that edge there. Just take your shovel, go underneath, the, lift up the sod underneath, take a look and see if there's any grubs in there. One or two grubs, perfect, healthy, nature at its best. If you've got six, eight, ten, twelve grubs in a very small area, you've got an infestation and we're going to need to deal with it. Okay, now to deal with it, we're going to use something called nematodes. Okay, and nematodes are parasites or microscopic worms with an attitude. Okay, I, that's why we're going to say it. And what they do is they will hunt and attack larvae. They also hunt and attack other insects, uh, other pest insects. And as a rule of thumb, most pest insects, I'm going to say 90% of pest insects at one time, like the June beetle, have a cycle in the soil. This is where the larva will get them or the nematodes will get them. Okay, so we're going to, uh, we're going to actually demonstrate how to use nematodes on your lawn. Okay, we're going to demo now on how to use nematodes. Okay, so basically the nematodes um, are a Canadian strain. There's two different kinds of nematodes we do carry in this package. We carry six million nematodes in this. So most of them have one million, so there's lots of them. It's fast acting. Uh, the two strains, the reason we carry two strains is one for the surface and one for one that'll burrow down below. Uh, so very, very effective. We've been getting tons of good results with these. So I'm gonna show you how to use this at this time. What happens is you buy them, we keep them in the fridge. If you can't use them right away, put them in your fridge. We also like to use them uh, they need a lot of rain or a lot of water on the lawn, so you want to be prepared to water them in or do them in a rainy se or during the rain, and your neighbor will think you're totally bonkers if you're out in the rain doing it. But uh, it is best for the nematodes because it is like a worm. It would be like putting worms on a hot uh, on cement. It doesn't work too well, so a hot day. So you want to make sure it's a moist day. You want to give them a lot of water. It really makes them move around. So what you do is you buy this. You, we, take, we sell them out of our fridge. You take them home. Put them in your fridge if you can't use them right away. They're, you can use them in for about, you can store them for about a month. So you take out the sponge out of the package. Now they put six million on here. How they do that, don't ask me. I don't know how they count them. It must take them a long time. But anyways, uh, what you do is you want to put them in water. So we're going to put some water in here. And you're going to shake off all the nematodes. So you got to get them off. Shake them all off. Get them out of there, okay? Make sure you squeeze that loose. You got them in there. They're done, okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this concentration now, because it's a concentration. We're going to have to get them on the lawn or your garden. How are we going to do that? We are going to pour them. We don't want to get too much on the ground, although it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, now that they're in here, um, again, you want to mix them up. You want to make sure they're mixed well. There are different applicators you can use. I like this one here, we sell these here, and I like this one because this one sucks the stuff up and out while it's mixing with water, and you can set it at any dial you like, okay? So you, uh, with nematodes, we would set them around maybe a five to a 10. That way we're using more water and less of the concentrate. The more water, the better. 
If you're using a miracle Grow or one for fertilizer, what it does is it always just puts water in your continual mixes and you never get to see it coming out. You don't know when it's empty. So you need to put some food coloring in there of some sort just to change it, just to change it. Now nematodes are very safe. You can eat them. I wouldn't recommend trying it, but I might do it. But anyways, uh, you could eat them. You can water them in. Your plants can, uh, or your, your pets and that. It's safe for air, absolutely everything. So what do you do is I'm just gonna spray these plants with it. Now you would just start to spray and you wanna get this, this amount fairly evenly over your lawn or your plants or whatever you're doing. Um, and it's the same as whether you're doing your lawn or your plants. It's all, it's all the same idea. What happens is the nematodes now are going into the soil and they'll move around in there. Uh, if you're doing this while it's raining out, it'll actually give you more water. It'll, it'll put them in even deeper and further, which is actually ideal. Okay, what you want to do is you want to spray this amount. Uh, if this empties, you get your concentrate again, put it back in, and before you put your concentrate in, mix it because they seem to settle in the water. So you got to mix them all up again, put them in here, periodically shake it up again, and get it on there. That package or that package will do two to 3,000 square feet of lawn. So you got an idea. If you got a larger lawn, you might need an extra pack or two. Um, but anyways, that's all you need to do. Get this on, make sure it's good and moist. Don't do it in the heat of the day and get it. And that's basically it. And then what'll happen is these little uh, parasites or, or microscopic uh, worms on steroids, I guess we can call it too, is they're gonna go out and they're gonna start looking for larvae or insects to eat. Once the insects are decimated, they die off also. So it's, uh, it's just one of these cycles that it cleans them up and we're not gonna have a problem with them later on. I think that's about it for today, so good luck on killing your grubs.